Hello, I'm Hai Xiang, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve, monitor, and prevent the HTTP 500 or 503 error when making a request to Amazon Simple Storage Service. Let's get started. The error code 500 internal error tells you that Amazon S3 can't handle the request when the request is made. The error code 503 slow down usually indicates that the number of requests to your S3 bucket is high. To resolve the issue, the best practice is to build require logic into applications that make requests to Amazon S3. All AWS SDKs have a built-in require mechanism with an algorithm that uses exponential backoff. The algorithm implements increasingly longer wait times between requests for consecutive error responses. To prevent such issues happening in the future, configure your application to gradually increase request rates. To avoid the 503 slowdown error, configure your application to start with a lower request rate transactions per second, then exponentially increase the application's request rate. Amazon S3 automatically scales to handle a higher request rate. Because request rates apply per prefix in Amazon S3 buckets, you also might want to distribute objects across multiple prefixes so that the buckets can handle overall higher request rates and avoid 503 slowdown errors. For example, if you use an Amazon S3 bucket to store images and videos, then distribute the files into two prefixes, my bucket forward slash images and my bucket forward slash videos. To monitor the number of 500 related status error responses that you receive, turn on Amazon CloudWatch metrics for all the objects in your bucket. Sign into the AWS Management Console and then open the Amazon S3 Console. In the buckets list, choose the name of the bucket that contains the objects that you want to request the metrics for. Choose the Metrics tab. Under Bucket Metrics, choose View Additional Charts. Choose the Request the Metrics tab. Choose Create Filter. In the Filter Name box, enter your filter name. Under Filter Scope, choose This filter applies to all objects in the bucket. Choose Create Filters. On the Request the Metrics tab, under Filters, choose the filter that you just created. Or Turn on Amazon S3 Server Access Logging and then use Amazon Athena to filter and review all requests that receive a 500 or 503 error responses. Sign in to the AWS Management Console and open the Amazon S3 Console. In the buckets list, choose the name of the bucket that you want to turn on Server Access Logging for. Choose Properties. In the Server Access Logging section, choose Edit. Under Server Access Logging, choose Enable. Under Destination Bucket, specify a bucket and an optional prefix. If you specify a prefix, it's a best practice to include a forward slash after the prefix to make it easier to find your logs. Under Log Object Key Format, do one of the following. A, to choose non-date-based partitioning, or B, to choose date-based partitioning. When choose the date-based partitioning, choose S3 event time or log file delivery time. Choose Save Changes. So now you know how to resolve, monitor, and prevent the HTTP 500 or 503 error when making a request to Amazon S3. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.